Okay, my name is Nicholas St. John. I run an organization called Alt One, which is a private health association. And I've been doing making chlorine dioxide solution uh, for about two and a half, maybe three months now. And uh, I got the idea of using the water bottles from uh, Dr. Brian uh, Stone and wanted to show a even a, a modified thing that I found is even easier to, to do. So uh, let me go through the components. First of all, the thing that makes this easier <clears throat> is a plastic bag. It's, it's a, one quart is eight inches by two inches. And so you take one of these and you You cut off the very top of this. Discard that. And now you, what you have is, you'll see that you have something that's about the same height of this, uh, the same, basically the same height. So you don't have to worry about the, the little plunger, the, <clears throat> Dr. Brian Stone shows to keep this afloat. I did it without the, the plunger and it just sank in there and then contaminated everything. So, so I have, so what you'll do is you'll take this and you'll roll it. You'll roll it up and this bottle, so these are plastic water bottles and to the first one that's indented, that's 400 milliliters. So what I do is I take and I put this bag down inside here and I unroll it a little bit so it kind of makes a spout okay now we have our two components we have hydrochloric acid at 4.7 percent and I have a measuring cup that shows 40 milliliters now what I use is I use 40 milliliters of this and I use 25 milliliters with of the uh, uh, sodium chloride so, mix this up, I pour it into 40 milliliters. And then I pour it right in here. Nice and easy, so now it's down inside the bag inside the bottle. Next, I take the sodium chloride. This is mixed to uh, 28%. And I have a 10 milliliter syringe. What I do is I just do one nine and then two eights. It mixes 25 milliliters. So it's a nice big open bottle so I can get into it. So there's nine, nine milliliters. And you stick it right in there and plunge it in and you can see it's already starting to turn yellow. So that's the first batch. I do another eight. And a third one that is eight. And now I have the whole thing is mixed up inside the bag. Now you can just roll this up and you can push it down inside the bag. It's not gonna get down in and contaminate. So you can see there's water here and air up here. Simply put the top on and it's ready to go. In about 14 hours, this will be completely outgassed. This level will be at 3,000 parts per million. Now I have another bottle. Um, these are bottles that we uh, also make it in and these are sturdier. These are really thin. You wonder if you're gonna put your fingers through the plastic, they're so thin. But this was a, a thicker bottle, and uh, this is one that we can actually uh, use to ship uh, product in. So, uh, actually I'll do the same thing again. So you can see how quick and easy this is. You don't have to worry about doing the, the little shot glass and then the sealed container and then have to do that again. This is all one quick, easy way to do this. So I'm going to do this again, roll this up, insert this into the bottle, then open it up so there's a little bit of a kind of a 
an area so that there's a spout. This this container, this opening is a little bit smaller than this one, so you just have to be a little more careful to make sure you get enough opening so you don't have to worry about uh, spilling it or it overflowing. So again, I'm just going to take this, pour it into my little glass to 40 milliliters. Pour that in here. Back to the sodium chloride. Nine milliliters. Inject that into the fluid. You can see again, you can see it's turning yellow already. Another eight. And one more. Gives me a total of 25 milliliters. Again, twist this down inside. Put our cap in that's got a sealer in it. Put that on top, close this down, and in 14 hours, you're all set. I will be making kits, so if you want these heavier bottles, and uh, and I'll actually have some of these bags prepared for it. And so the only thing you'll have to do is you'll have to add the uh, HCl, the hydrochloric acid, and the sodium chloride to your bag. And uh, uh, we'll see, I may end up make, making kits. I probably won't put a glass in it, but we'll have the uh, syringes, because they ha do have a supply of syringes. So again, that's how quick and easy it is to make uh, CDS, if you want to make it at home, again, I'll make a lot of this stuff available. So, um, thanks for stopping by. I hope this helped. And uh, uh, the use of CDS is becoming more and more prevalent. So, I just wanted to make it so a lot more people could use it and make it easily. Okay, here we are. About uh, actually, it's almost 24 hours. So you, you don't have to do it in 12 hours or 20, 14 hours. Uh, you can just you can leave it, and it'll just saturate. So there's no harm, no foul, and let's, uh, you can see how beautiful, how, how beautiful golden this is. And so, anyway, it's been sealed, so what we're going to do is going to take the top off. I have a pair of tweezers so I can reach down in, in here and pull this out. So you want to do is do this nice and gently and you'll see the yellow starts coming up in here. That's the two liquids as we put them together as you pull them out. And what I have here is, normally I do this over a sink, but because I'm not trying to get this in a place where you guys can see it, I just will take and set this in a jar, okay? And that's pretty much all you have to do. Seal it up and it's done. And same thing with the, uh, uh, the other bottle that we had. Take that out. Pull it up. And put it in the jar. Put the top back on it. And so you can see we have really beautiful, this is, uh, I've tested this a lot, this is right at 3,000 parts per million. So I wanted to show you how that turned out. Again, very quick and easy, so how quickly we can get this done. You are gonna wanna do this in a well-ventilated area. Um, if you're gonna do this in a bathroom, or um, I like bathrooms because they have typically a ventilation fan in them. Um, I'm doing this outside, but, uh, uh, when I do it in, in my bathroom, I'll have a, a fan going uh, because it can be, uh, it is very strong, obviously, and uh, you don't want to be breathing a lot of that, but you can see how quickly you can get this out. Um, I then take this typically and pour this into a, a jar and I label that disinfectant. You can use this uh, and cut this 100 to 1 and it becomes a really great disinfectant for things like uh, countertops, um, cutting boards, things like that. So you need some extra disinfectant, all this, don't let this go to waste. It's really uh, good to have around as well. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope this helps. 
Um, I'm going to be putting together kits for this, and so uh, if you'll visit our website, uh, which I'll have listed below, you'll be able to see about getting um, these stronger bottles and a couple of plastic bags as well as a syringe and uh, anything else you need. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope this helps.